All right, it is time to learn a few more advanced features. This chapter is going to cover the basics of wall shapes. You are going to create a gable wall for the ABC project. Please proceed to the Walls in Project screen of the ABC project. You are going to create a new wall by clicking on the Insert button at the bottom of the Walls in Project screen. The Insert button brings you to the Update Wall screen. Enter Gable Wall in the Description field at the top of the screen. Below the Description field is the Wall Shape field. Click on the down arrow to the right of this field and select Gable. Once this is selected, you will notice a third dimension input, Gable Height, becomes available with wall height and wall length. Tab down to wall height and enter 20 feet. Next, tab down to wall length and enter 20 feet there as well. And finally, tab down to gable height and enter 6 feet. Time to enter your wall materials. Click on the down arrow next to the regular outside material field and select the modular brick. Next, click on the down arrow next to the regular inside material and select the 8 inch medium weight CMU. Return to the upper left corner of the screen and click on the wall shape button to see an elevation of the wall that you just created. You are now on the Update Wall Shape screen. Note, if the gable wall is not immediately showing on your screen, you can roll the zoom wheel up and the perspective will zoom out and give you a broader view. In the upper right corner of this screen is the Gable Slope Height field. Change the height to 8 feet and you will see the change made in the graphic of the gable wall. Above the graphic are numerous selections for wall shapes. Feel free to click on any of these at this time to see how the wall changes. Right slope, left slope, rectangular. There is an option to customize a wall utilizing the top and bottom profile button and then entering the profiles under the place profiles tab. The customized profile feature will have an in-depth tutorial posted to tradesmans.com at a later time. Make sure to change the wall back to a gable wall before you continue. All right, click on the OK button at the bottom of the screen. You have now returned to the Update Wall screen. Let's try one more wall shape. Click on the down arrow next to Wall Shape and select Pier. Change your height to 8 feet, the length to 2 feet, and finally the width to 2 feet. Your outside material should still be a modular brick and the inside material should be 8 inch CMU. You have just created a pier. It is that easy. In a 2x2 two two modular brick pier, you have 10 bricks per course and 36 courses with an 8 foot height. That gives you 360 brick. There are two 8 inch CMU backing this up per course and 12 courses with an 8 foot height. That gives you 24 CMU. Now run a report for this wall only. Click on the Reports button in the lower right corner. You are now on screen PRM. Select the Quantity Bid Price for the report. Show Totals Only should be checked and then click Continue to run the quantity bid price report. You are now on the report screen. 
The report will show 360 modular brick and 24 quantity 8 inch CMU. You are shown this at this time so you can see how easy and accurate it is to create piers in special shapes. Close out of the report screen and return to the update wall screen. Change the wall shape back to gable. The height can go back to 20 feet and the length returns to 20 feet as well. Click on the place wall button and open up the place wall screen. Placement of the gable wall is the same as placement of the pier. You will need an anchor and a directional point. Position your floor plan so that you have a view of a line to place the gable on. Make sure you are in pick mode. The placement type will default to a segmental when placing a wall shape. Left click and place your anchor point and then left click on the same line to the right or counterclockwise of your anchor point. Your gable wall is now visible on the floor plan. Be sure to click on the save button to save your work. This concludes the chapter on wall shapes. The next chapter of the walkthrough will cover creating a standard materials database.